Crime with Jane's videos, and I'm back with another Wolfman review. One of the most exciting Wolfman reviews of this year so far, uh, with the other being this guy, and many more to come. But uh, the reason that this one, that these are so exciting, is obviously because this is a new for 2020 Spirit Halloween prop. Uh, no, I did not go to Flagship and get this. One of my nearby stores opened up yesterday, and I was super excited about that. Um, I have another store opening Saturday, so I definitely plan to go to that one and get some more props, and uh, there will be reviews on whatever ones I get. But, um, Sewer Varmint, let's talk about this guy, because this is what the Wolfman review is on. This Wolfman review is on the Spirit Halloween 2020 Sewer Varmint animatronic. Now, I love this prop. I'm a big fan of him. He's definitely in my top 10 for the year, one that I absolutely love. And he fits my haunt theme for 2020 so well, because if you do not know, my haunt theme for this year is a laboratory. And so, obviously, he is quintessential for a laboratory. That is literally what he's designed to be, is a lab prop. And so I definitely needed to get him, not only because I love him, but because he fits my haunt so well. So, without any further ado, let's get into the review on this guy. So, first we're going to get into detail, of course, just like always. Now, the detail on this guy is phenomenal. It looks amazing. This this prop is definitely one of the best detailed ones of the year. Um, it looks great. As you can see, the mouth has a very wet texture to make it look a lot like saliva and stuff. I think it looks great. Now, on the sock images on the website, it looks kind of blocky, but obviously that is the prototype. It does not actually look like that. It is very smooth, very rat-like. Uh, the faces look fantastic. I love them so much. They're they're really cool looking. So you've got his rat buck teeth. His whole mouth looks great. Uh, his eyes are orange and they light up orange. Or their eyes, I should say. They light up orange. Those are some really awesome eyes there that I love. The other head's pretty much the same. Detail-wise, looks really great. The detail on these guys is fantastic. I love them. And uh, there's like... A little spot right here where there's no fur which I like because it's a mutant where their fur is like conjoined I like that now if you can see the IR sensor is at the top of the head there it's pretty well disguised in the dark uh, then you get down to the feet they look pretty good they definitely look like rat feet the back and front are different actually the back is more spread out and bigger whereas the front is smaller and more close together then you have the body of this guy, which is absolutely massive. I knew this would be a big prop. I knew it would be one that we all thought was going to be small and turn out to be big. He's big. Um, he's not tall, of course, but he's very wide and very hefty. Uh, he does look like he's all one piece, but he's not. This you, There is a setup required, and it's very similar to Cerberus with the wooden base setup. So this is... Um, that's a clear plastic that gives him that mold that goes on top of the wooden base. So that's what that's all about. But the fur looks great. The texture of the fur feels so realistic and everything. It, it looks great. It really looks like real rat fur. I love it. I forgot to mention the ears. The ears look great on this guy. These guys, whatever. <laughs> right back there, I love that touch. The added stitches. I think that looks great. Awesome detail there. That is uh, either latex or vinyl. I'm not sure. But uh, that's what that is, and that is just a part of the fur. I think that's great. It definitely makes it a lot more lab-like, so it's going to fit my haunt even better. And then you've got the tail. The tail back here looks like a rat tail. It looks good. There's not too much detailing on it, but it looks like it should. And it is fully posable, which is a very good thing about that. So, as you can see, this guy is extremely large. Um... Very big, very hefty animatronic. You're definitely going to want to have it on top of something in a haunt because otherwise it'll be hard to notice and this is one that you definitely want people to notice because this is a very cool showstopper prop. Though it's not very big, it's one that people are going to be like, whoa, that's cool, especially with the fog. Now, I have not hooked up the fog to it the proper way yet and that's what I'm going to get into now because that's my only complaint with the prop, honestly, other than the price. I'll get into the price in a minute. But other than the price, my only complaint with the prop, and it's not even a complaint with the prop itself, is the fog. Now, this guy, they advertise as fog compatible. And he is. He's got the little things there, and then he's got the tubes uh, that run out of the back there. That's where the tubes come out, out back there. So, he is fog compatible fully, except the issue with him... Let me put this light down. That actually looks good. The issue with him is that on every model of these, they forgot to pack the 
fog adapter. Now, if you don't know what a fog adapter is, it's that little piece that connects into the fog machine and then a wire runs from the prop and connects into that. That way, when the prop is activated, the fog machine knows when to activate, so it's not just constantly going and it's able to activate at the right intervals, such as in Arctic Dragon's animation, he does not fog until near the end of that his activation with his big roar. Uh, with these guys, in the sneak peek video, it shows them fogging short intervals, like one, they just spit out fog, and I think it looks really cool. It's one of the coolest uses of fog I've ever seen on a prop, because it doesn't just happen constantly. They spit it out at short intervals, I think it looks really awesome. Um, but they forgot to include the adapter in the box. And that's not just my model because the instructions do not have the adapter on them at all. Um, it's weird. It, it is really weird because that's the only way to have this prop work with the fog. And it's even got the wire that is supposed to go into the fog adapter coming from the prop. It's just the adapter is just not included. So they were supposed to do it. They just forgot it and they forgot it on every model because it's not even in the instructions. They actually messed up on the website instructions and labeled the thing that connects the tube to the fog machine to keep it snug in place as the adapter. And then they fixed that on the actual instructions and called it the connector. But upon that, they forgot to add the adapter itself. It's very strange. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, a prop getting messed up entirely with everything of it. But I do not want that to hinder you guys from getting the sewer varmint. I still highly recommend this prop because it is super cool. So I definitely still highly recommend this and I highly recommend you get it if you want it. Do not let the, uh, the fog adapter thing take away from this because he can work with any fog adapter of a YJ prop. Also, you can still use the fog with him. It, it could still work with him perfectly fine. You just need to, it, it, you just need to have it on a remote or something, but it won't be spitting out at the intervals that it's supposed to. But it, this fog's still going to come out of the mouths and stuff. It just won't go the way that it's supposed to. However, I'm picky and want it to go the way that it's supposed to, and so I contacted Spirit Customer Support earlier today, and they are sending me a new adapter. So thank you, Spirit Customer Support. They were very, very helpful. They're sending me an adapter for it, which is great. So I'm gonna have this guy working the way he's supposed to in just a couple of days, and I'm excited for that. I'll probably post a video on Instagram for that. So if you get this guy, keep that in mind. And uh, if yours does come with it, let me know in the comments below because maybe it was only my model and for some reason they're not in the instructions, but they put them in the box. It's strange. But I don't want that to hinder you guys from getting this prop, because this is a truly fantastic prop. I mean, just look at it. Look at the detail on this. It's truly great. It's truly an amazing showstopper prop. So do not let that hinder you from it. Uh, my only other issue with this is the price, and I'll get into that after the animation. But first, I'm going to show the animation because it's a cool one. So here we go. I'll do that one more time. And I said the eyes light up orange. They don't, they're red. I just wasn't really paying attention. But uh, yeah, they're red. And he's just got the basic side to side head movement like Cerberus has, except these two heads move together, which is good because they're conjoined. But um, yeah, that's that's the animation. It's basic, but the look of this prop is really, if, even if this was a static prop, I'd still love it just because it looks so great. But the animation is an added touch. Also with the fog machine, I'm sure it'll be even more cool. Sadly, I just can't do that at the time because I don't have the thing, but I still want to get this review out there as soon as possible to try to get you guys to buy the sewer varmint because it's a super cool prop, especially if you're doing a freak show or a lab, in my case, a lab, but he can work for a freak show or something tool too. He can work for a sewer. He can work for so many different themes and that's something really good about him. So yeah, that's what it does. I think this prop is gonna last a while. When I was setting it up, it's very durable, it's very sturdy, it's made out of wood, and then the plastic form for the body, but uh, the motor looks sturdy enough. It's only like a, a, a tilting head thing, so I don't really think it's gonna break. Um, knock on wood, because I don't want it to break because I said that. But I think this guy's gonna be pretty durable. Um, it's, it's a pretty hefty prop, it's a pretty big prop. It's 
pretty it's really detailed it looks phenomenal it looks like a real rat and I love it I love everything about it I think it's great now I'll get into the price now and the price is my only other issue other than the adapter thing but the adapter thing isn't even an issue with the prop itself so I'm not going to take off anything for that because that's not an issue with the prop itself the prop I think is great the adapter thing is just an issue with they forgot to pack this in the prop which is strange I would say that's more of an issue with the packaging uh, than the prop itself because the prop was made flawlessly but the, that's an issue and obviously I'm gonna get that fixed but keep that in mind when buying this guy but don't let that hinder you from buying him because he's still great um, he's a really cool prop but the price I'd say is a little bit overpriced he is large he is very large like I already mentioned but he's still just a rat so he's not like enormous um, you can see him next to Eddie he's pretty big but he's not like a giant six foot prop or something so I don't think he should be 130 he retails for 129.99 I don't think he should be that price I think a uh, hundred dollars would have been better for him because he's only got one animation and stuff but I feel like the reason they added that thirty dollars on is because of the fog compatibility but still you would have to buy your own fog machine if you don't already have one and so I don't think he's worth 130. I say 100 would be better, but he's still one of the cheaper props of this year, and I would say he's probably the best option in my opinion for the ones in the cheaper price range. So that would be Mommy's favorite, Hauntress, Sewer Varmint, all of those ones. Um, now I do like those other props, but in my opinion, this one is the best one out of those, and this one is the one that I would recommend you pick up because I have seen all three in person at that store. Uh, and I have sewer varmint and this is the one that I recommend that you pick up but of course that's up to you and what theme you're doing and stuff but if you're doing a theme that this guy's gonna fit I highly recommend you get him because he's a really cool one he's really creepy I feel like he's gonna get a bunch of people who are scared of rats uh, he's real a really cool prop so on the Wolfman review rating scale I'm going to rate the sewer varmint and may I mention that's also a really cool name I really like the name for the prop instead of just calling it mutant rat or something sewer varmint's a really nice name I like that a lot um, I am going to rate him 8 out of 10 claw marks. I think this is a phenomenal prop. He's not up at the 10 out of 10 because I'm, I'm going to try to be a little bit more reservative of that spot because I, I give the, I usually give all the props that I love 10 out of 10 but I want to save the 10 out of 10 for like my top 2 or top 3. Um, that way uh, it's it's a more exclusive group there, but I, I think this guy definitely deserves an 8 out of 10. He's great I highly recommend you get him uh, He's a really cool one to have and especially for though I mentioned he could be cheaper his price isn't too bad So especially for his price I think he's definitely worth it and one worth picking up so I hope you all enjoyed this Wolfman review I hope I gave you get some good insight into the sewer varmint keep howling at the moon my werewolves <laughs>